Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here. Hope you're having an excellent day. I was at the ski warehouse down by the airport in Baltimore getting some skis for my kids. Uh, if you guys didn't know, <clears throat> if I didn't play guitar for a living, I'd probably be one of two other things. I'd probably be uh, like a boat captain or I'd be a ski bum uh, and live on the mountain. One of the two, you know, mountains and water, right? Anyway, dude comes up. He goes, hey, man, I love your channel. I watch all your videos. He's going to Japan. He hits me up on Instagram. His name is Willis. And he, he hits me with a little, uh, what does he have here? He goes, Marty O'Reilly, captain's daughter uh, from so far London. He goes, have you heard of him? Uh, I've just been addicted for a bit. Uh, and I said, nope, I'm going to do it ice cold for you, brother. So this is for you. Be safe out there in Japan. And, uh... Shroom with mud water and... Ah. Switch account. Yeah, I'm not doing the ads here. Here we go. Yeah, okay. This is really cool. Um, the groove is as swampy as can be. If you're new to this channel, okay? I, I know it says reacts, but it's also like a teaching opportunity. There's so many things that, uh, that are happening that I got to go back and rewind. So grab your guitar, my friends. Grab your guitar. So this is, for all intents and purposes, a blues and E. Right? But let me walk you through some cool things that are happening. So you got this. These little moves here, flat seven to one. D to E. That. And then go into your five chord, B7. That. Uh, so if you got, what did he do here? Little tiny moves like this. He's in B7, moves the A note, the flat seven, back up to B, stops playing B in the low string, right? It looks like, and then he focuses on just snagging that major third. So this is a third, third root. So it's like a first inversion type of thing. Little subtle movements. This guy's killer. I like it. Go under A. A minor, rather. So your minor four chord. Those little moves. I love it. So this is, again, flat seven. Your G over A minor, so A minor 7, but then drop in to get your major 6. Little embellishments that really just brighten up the progression. Great tone there. Something like that. Point is, 4. Flat, in through the flat five, down, flat three, one, flat seven, slide, five to four. Same move again. This, same as, same basic deal. And then, C7 to B7, just a little, little cadence. And now look, this is one of my favorite parts. He's got B7 here like this. Takes it to its next voicing. Takes it to its next voicing, B7 up here. 
and then susses it out, if I remember correctly, meaning suspending the third for the fourth in this case. To really want us to go home to the neighborhood of E. That haunting, coming in with the fifth, so the note B, okay? And look, I feel like you could get away with it because it's the fiddle, right? The half step below, are we A sharping there, my friends? Are we? Is that what we're doing? Listen. Killer. Great fiddle runs, man. Violin, whatever. I'm staring across the deck about the captain's daughter, and her eyes look brighter. In the sun on the water. I love Boy, it so hard. Boys, I try. And I hear the worst setting sail tonight. Swampy Zach Bryan vibes. Love this guy. She lets me look just from a distance. She won't yeah. speak to me. Yeah, but when I sing, she still listens. Listen, there's there's really a lot to take in here. You would be you would be completely mistaken if you chalked this up as just yeah. This is a this is an E minor blues, um, you know, obviously dominant five chord. Um, there's so much happening in every scenario. There's two things that are pervasive. One, space, space, my friends, space. So much space that it allows you the time and the energy in the room for it to dissipate to stack all these different voicings and to lead to the next chord with such detail. Little, little basic things if just the... There's so much room to go root fifth, root fifth in the bass. There's so much room to let things ring out, you know? It, it's just... And the fiddle player, or violin, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, so many cool things he's doing with the melody. And the timbre, just the sound of it is so haunting. And this dude's voice, I'm telling you, it's like a... It's like a Cajun, like a New Orleans kind of Zach Bryan, you know, been drinking and fighting for about a month now type of vibe, right? Um, let's hit the button. Eight and nine. Like those, 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 those. Such a cool little line. Now, I'm just guessing, okay? It's not going to be note for note. You know this, right? But I hear the note. Going for the A, right? And then I'm going to borrow from E minor, give or take, right? That That's my starting point with the guess. That, like, 
but I hear that little lift from up to the B. See, the, it's so important to learn lines that are not from your main instrument because, because the intuition is within the instrument a, a lot of the times. It's within our muscle memory. And so when you learn sax lines and fiddle lines and, and whatever, it's different than anything else you would come up with. Like that's such a simple, usable, cool, and memorable phrase. Early tonight. Mm. Love that little. Not a single speck of land in sight. This fiddle player, man. Her dress was bright green and embroidered. Yes! Honey, I know. I've been staring. Okay. Everybody is the star in this, okay? This is absolutely a team sport. Like, this is, this is, you can't have this type of thick, fat groove without everybody hearing the in the silence, right? But that dude, man, that just made my whole day. Um, would you know that I am actually not sure what the difference between a violin and a fiddle is? Feel free to beat me up in the comments. It's true, though. I've been at her since the day that we boarded. I've been staring at her thigh. It's a great line, right? I've been staring at her thighs And I'm looking at it In a brand new light This is so cool. Oh my, I can't, I can't, I want to stop it. I got to, mm. it, man, all of a sudden we get into the Tom Waits vibe. Like the, this, the sound of just like the, like immediately stopping the symbol or you have it held before. And it's like, the timbres. This is what I'm saying. Like it, you, it's so easy to get lost. And yes, it's a minor one, four, five, right? You know, five's dominant, whatever. Um, this so many different timbres, so many different kinds of sound, and you need to have such space and room to be able to do that and to be so playful with it, like they are. Um, and man, I'm telling you, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna learn these fiddle licks. Um, and, and some of the stuff he's doing on guitar, like there's, there's so many cool takeaways in here. Let me, let me try to get some for you. in a brand new light. So coming in, E minor, flat three one. So many, so many sagger. I love that little one. That 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 you did before. Such a hot line.
So you got, you got, right? Very cool. Flat seven, five, four, right? Flat three, two. Kind of applying this little piece of D major here. Flat seven, flat six, five. Very cool. We'll go back up, we'll go back up now. There is first Love those pushes, man. The passion has been 15 days. Since we exhausted all the rations, boys, that's right. Broke a string. Yeah, boys, that's right. You feel it? And I'm looking at it with an appetite. And I'm gonna make home my Okay. I'm going to say it once. I've said it a million times. This is the beauty of this community. I get skis for my kids. Dude comes in, right? We connect. He's going to Japan. Japan, okay? To go snowboarding. Japan. Hits me on Instagram. Gives me this, something I'd never heard before, and it, I love it. So many great things you can take from it, so many teaching and learning opportunities. A band I would otherwise not know about. I'm telling you, good people, no good music, no good people, no good music. It's a fact, it's a thing. It's why it's awesome. So, dude, Willis, you're the man. I really appreciate it. Um, uh... Yeah, he says the violinist slays and the lyrics cut. I got to dig more into the lyrics. I got to be honest with you because I was completely taken by uh, the playing, especially the violin or fiddle. Again, I would encourage you to beat me up in the comments because I would like to know the actual difference. If there is one, maybe it's like a couple centimeters. Um, but man, the space, like in the in the silence, even if you're boom, 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 boom. You have to have that internal swampy triplet subdivision that 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 doesn't exist. But you have to feel that swing in there, um, and you keep it filthy and you keep it playful and all the different sounds. I just love it. So Marty O'Reilly, man, you got a fan in me. Hopefully, some people out there um, dig you. I'll try to I'll try to track down your links. And put them in here. Um, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. Have a great day. If you want to support the channel and you dig the vibe, first of all, hit subscribe. It really helps me a lot. But two, um, I, I make a living making guitar courses. My website, guitargate.com, is where I have all of them. So if any of the things I was talking about uh, interested you or you felt like, oh, man, like I sort of get it, but you're going way too damn fast, you can take it nice and slow in an order on the website. It's the first like, uh, link in the description. And um, I'd love to be your online teacher or one of them. Cheers.